shut up the clock of the uh, meeting at the August, August, that May, August yeah. uh, 12, uh, 2024 meeting for the Freetown Conservation Commission to order. Uh, the meeting is going to be recorded. Is anyone else going to be recording the meeting? Seeing none, we'll say there is none. <laughs> All right. Um, item number one, a uh, refund peer review for 81 uh, Middleborough Road and Zero County Road, uh, Robert Nasser. Uh, the uh, refund would be uh, $850.47 plus interest. Um, <clears throat> the, the fund is no longer needed. So I'll uh, accept the motion. I'll make that motion. Motion is made. Motion is made and seconded to refund the uh, peer review funds for 81 Middleborough Road. All in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> All right. Number two, request for certificate of compliance, 11 Walnut uh, Street, uh, the, plain, uh, the applicant, uh, Claudia Torres. So, Mrs. Torres, you're not going to go forward with it? No. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh. All right. Very good. Um, okay, I'll accept the motion to uh, uh, issue the certificate of compliance. I will make that motion. Motion is made. I'll second. Motion is seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 <clears throat> uh, item number three, request for a certificate of com uh, compliance, 21 Burns Lane. Uh, applicant Benjamin Miller. Uh, Mr. Miller uh, has requested that he gets the certificate of compliance. They actually did not do the work. They were able to repair the septic instead of uh, having to uh, build a new one. So I'll accept the motion on that. I will make that motion. Motion is made. Motion is seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Um, <clears throat> item number four, request for determination of applicability, uh, 18 uh, County Road. Uh, now, it's... just state on the screen. Or I, I do have it on board, you know, on, on the board if you'd like to have it stand, but I should be able to. Uh, for the record, Niall Zager from Zenith. Um, so this was submitted uh, without filing um, initially because there is, you know, there is town water. Uh, there is water out on County Road, as I'm sure you're aware. Um, however, my the applicant was denied the ability to tie into that uh, by the water department. So we're before you. Okay. We're, we're before you for a well. Um, that well has to be pushed back um, into the buffer zone. We're outside of 50. Um, however, we we uh, are within the 100-foot buffer. There will be some tree clearing uh, to get the well truck back there. And obviously, drill the well. There'll be silt sock placed around that limit of work. And there'll be a water service that will be run from the well to the house itself. Um, and again, I think a lot of this will just be kind of a temporary disturbance. A lot of it will probably revegetate, you know, once it's, you know, nobody's going to keep that as a yard. Um, so that, and that's not the intent here, but this is like a, a temporary construction. So we have to be able to be, we have to be a hundred feet from all of the septics that are either on site or abutting. And um, as you can kind of see uh, that circle that there's a hundred foot radius circle that goes around it's like that dash circle. Mm -hmm. um, we're just outside of a hundred with the abutting well. That's what kind of pushes this back. 
um, even a little further into the buffer zone. So that's what we have before you. Otherwise, um, if there were no, if we were tying in the water, we wouldn't even be here before you. But that's that's kind of the chain of events that, that occurred. <clears throat> kind of strange, but <laughs> uh, but also uh, for the record, in uh, Niles, for your information, <clears throat> the agent, our agent went and uh, observed the property. She did uh, note some uh, disturbance uh, in the uh, within the buffer zone, and so we're going to put a couple of stipulations on. One is that uh, they remove any material from the uh, area there to make it uh, clearer at the uh, wetlands. And the other thing is we put, you've done it, we've done it before, uh, probably a fence or boulders or something and uh, to make it that people realize that they're not supposed to go into that. Do we, Nicole, do we still have the little tags? Yes. Uh, maybe we can get everybody to get a couple of tags Put it on a tree or whatever on the fence, or whatever. So I'm completely fine with that. Can we just stipulate where we want those put? Um, do we want them at the hundred foot buffer, or do we want them at the fifty foot buffer? Where would you? Where would the commission like those? Well, um, I would say you could go to the wet line, to the flag line. Okay. I mean, anything, anything other than that. I mean, I know the lot small. Yeah. Too. Uh, so. I just don't. What I what I'd hate to do is if they, if I put them there, mm -hmm. um, that somebody's going to think that they can just go clear up to there without a permit, you know, and that's the only thing that concerns me. So, right. um, you're the you got you have the experience with the actual doing. So what I what I'd like to do if it's okay, I would put it at the fifty because that's what we're actually asking for okay. up to. If you're okay with that, I mean, and then if they wanted to come for for additional work, then we would just have to obviously modify. Mm -hmm. And you know, coming with an additional you know, a separate plan, but I think if you're if the commission's okay with it, I put it all we'll, I'll, I'll stipulate to them that it's at the 50. Okay, and I'll go from there. All right, so we'll put that as being stipulation at 50 foot line. Uh, and it appears like there's there's like an access point that was was cut into the wetlands, and that's what we're trying to cut off is that access. Point. Understood, absolutely. All right, so with the stipulations of uh removing any material within the uh, wetlands in re restoration of uh, the wetlands as being free of any material. Uh, that'd be one stipulation. And that at uh, the 50 foot uh, mark from the wetlands, either like a post and rail fence or, or even boulders. All right. I know. Accept a uh, motion. I'll make that motion. Motion is made. Motion is seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 All right, Niles. Thank you. As usual. All right. Niles isn't going to No. Uh, just on that one. Uh, okay. Item number five uh, 16 Water Street uh, septic system upgrade. Uh, again, for the record, now Zega from Zenith. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you are aware of this property. Uh, it's the oldest owned it in. Um, client, the people that have bought it are uh, looking to renovate it into some uh, residential units. Uh, two in the, um, so basically it could be two duplexes, uh, essentially. You've got two units on the, at the old upfront building, the big building, and then you've got two units in the uh, garage slash barn out back. Um, and what we're doing is we're upgrading the septic. Right now, the septic system is actually located off property in the old parking lot area, um, and it, it's, it's just not compliant. Um, so in order to bring this into compliance, um, we're tying in, we have both buildings being tied in with tanks and pumps um, that you see before you. They'll all be located within the um, existing parking lot paved area. And then that up further to the north, uh, kind of to the west of the uh, barn out back is where the leaching field is going to go. Why this is before you um, is because you're in a flood zone. We're in a land subject to coastal storm flowage. Uh, it's elevation, it's AD 14. Um, luckily, uh, no grade changes are being made. Not that that would matter in this situation, but 
Um, this is all being done within like an existing parking lot, uh, within an existing disturbed area. Uh, so there's no vegetation being taken down, no grade changes. Um, so that's why we filed an RDA. Typically I would file a notice or something like this, um, but because it was, because it's completely within that existing degraded area, I like to call it, um, it made sense just to file an RDA. The Hadley Heights that you see uh, to the west, um, that was already permitted before you uh, a few years ago. Um, that accesses uh, three residential lots out in the back. Um, so that was already before you, and that's one of the reasons why this has to be upgraded because the septic system is over there. So, um, so saw could be placed down. I mean, obviously it's within a paved area, so it's going to be a little bit difficult. You're going to just have to monitor it. Um, it'll have to be monitored. There is a dewatering basin um, on the plan because when we were out there doing the perks and we did hit a lot of fill, we hit, as you can probably imagine, um, and it was pretty wet. So um, there'll definitely be that. It's very, very rocky. So they're going to have a little bit of a little bit of construction to, uh, to do that. But I think obviously it's. Right now, the septic system's in the water table. It's a, it's a bad situation that we're trying to make better. So I'll uh, be happy to answer any questions that you have. I'm good. We're good. The agent's good. <laughs> so, uh, all right. With uh, that in mind, no added stipulations need to be. So uh, I'll accept the motion that we uh, make a negative determination. I will make that motion. I'll second it. Uh, motion is made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. You too Thank you. Nice. Thank you. <clears throat> um, next item is item number six request for determination of uh, 51 Point of Pines Road. Uh, it's the removal of debris, uh, uh, biological wetlands, and it's also uh, attempting to. Uh, do away with invasive species. And, um, we had a good report from the uh, conservation agent here. Um, is there anyone from 51? Yes. Yep. Hi. Hello. Um, <clears throat> you had a good conversation with our agent. I did with and, Adeline, yeah. Yes. And Can she state her name for the record? Okay. I'll, I'll state my yes. name for the record. Just Thank you. Go. Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, um, all right, and so as long as you do what she has asked, this shouldn't be an issue. Um, let's see if there's anything. Um, she just as she told us what she had recommended to you mm -hmm. that you're in agreement and you plan on carrying it out since it's. Yep to your benefit yeah i mean we reached out uh -huh. for support for assistance because it, it is an invasive species that uh -huh. that japanese not leaving so she it was great to have her there as uh -huh. a resource and she basically gave us the plan and we've you know completely taken that plan and intend to do that within the time frame that she suggested right you know. all right um anyone else have any have any questions or anything i'm just glad that the agent we have an agent to go out and do these things because it worked out so good. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Anyway, spending some money helps out a lot. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'll accept the motion mm -hmm. to uh, make a, a negative determination uh, on the project. I will make that motion. Motion is made. I'll second it. Motion is seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you very much. Thank good you. luck. Um, <clears throat> the next uh, item is item number seven, discuss and take action relative to land donation at uh, Zero Richmond Road, uh, map 207, lot 038. This is uh, a lot that's right on the corner of Forge and uh, Richmond at Walnut. Um, Charlie, if, this one is the donation. We haven't received um, written notice for the intent oh, to donate it. So yeah. the other one you're talking to is under any other business. Oh, okay. So we haven't. So for the article. So it. this one, we haven't received any um, written intent to donate it. Oh, okay. So we can't really do All anything right. for so this I'll, one today. I'll put that on hold. I'll put that on hold. All right. Uh, number uh, 
eight is discussion and take action relative to MBA, pardon, MBTA license agreement for 15 Richmond Road. Uh, that's the property right at the um, tracks on the other intersection of Forge and Richmond Road. Mm -hmm. By the real crossing. Uh, <clears throat> well, well, let you do go from there. We'll go from there. Uh, Jenny Fox with Mass DOT. Hi, Carolyn Jordan. I'm with the MBTA Real Estate Department. So um, you may recall that we secured a license agreement so we could access our shed there, mm -hmm. our, our signal house. Mm -hmm. for maintenance and other things. So the, the good news is that we had this property that we acquired as part of the whole project. Uh, the bad news is that we realized after the fact that we needed to access a signal house, which is why we had to request the license. So we have that license and we thank you for that. However, we are asking for uh, an extension on that because it's about to expire. Um, and Caroline can go into the details. We had a, an intensive meeting last week on this. I would think we have a good uh, way forward for the town. So this falls on the Article 97 so that we know we would need a town vote two thirds. We would need to go to the state. Uh, recently, these years come out with some de minimis uh, exceptions. So we are working with our environmental and our legal team to do a little bit more research to maybe avoid having to go through um, Article 97 and do work with your group with some um, language to put together to apply for a de minimis, de minimis uh, exception to that because what we're asking for is 8% uh, of the total property um, in this uh, for this permanent easement. So we're gonna uh, get that language together, do a little narrative. Hopefully we can work with the conservation agent uh, to do some applications for DCR, uh, we would still need to go to the town meeting for a two-thirds vote. It is with working with the DCR, it's probably not going to happen before October, <laughs> um, but we would hope to get it done before we would have to come back and ask for another extension on the license. Okay, so you're saying the license expires? The license is going to expire, yes. Yeah. So we're asking the town to just uh, give us an extension on that license while we work through trying to get some of these okay. items done. Yeah. Yeah. This um, new de minimis um, exception is relatively new, mm -hmm. but there is now precedent. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't. It wouldn't be like Freetown has to be the little engine that could reinvent the wheel. This is something that we think we can work through with our teams, mm -hmm. work directly with the town, give you a call, um, so that the language is there and you can use it and probably we we would imagine be successful. Okay, so how much time are you <laughs> well, requesting? We're asking for a year extension year. on the okay. license again. You would want it later just a year? Yeah, if we have to come back, we will, but we would really hope to try to clear this up so we don't have to do And that. if we put a time frame <clears throat> on it, maybe it'll happen. Okay. The trains will be running. The, uh, oh, they will. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> they they yeah. seem to be doing quite well completely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, all right. So, I a motion from us for a year extension to your license would be what you're requesting. Yes. Okay. With that said, motion. Okay. Motion is made. Oh, motion is seconded. All in favor, say aye. 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 All right, thank, thank you very much. Good luck. <laughs> Seem to be testing thank quite you. well. Yes, yes we you. are testing. It's crazy. We do hear it, yes. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, well, but, don't worry, it's not stopping. <laughs> no. <laughs> it, is, it is what it is. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Item number nine is discussion and take action relative to what but is concerns uh, of Porter Pasture. Um, so I, I'll start out with, um, I think what has you people interested or interest. Um, I know Jeff is aware because he met with Mr. Dean himself, um, but uh, the, a man who is a relative of the uh, people who originally owned Porter Pasture 
and uh, oh, uh, gave it over to the town more than 50 years ago. Uh, he wishes to uh, make a, a financial donation to um, restore the uh, at least beach area of Porter Pasture to what it was in the past, what it was at the time that the town took possession of the property. Um, he is willing to finance a study of what needs to be done to do this. And that's where we're uh, at right now uh, in uh, dealing with the or dealing with the donation. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll entertain uh, any questions or concerns that uh, you may have. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Uh, what he wants to do, he wants to get a professional mm -hmm. in there to take a look at um, what needs to be done. But our concerns as a body is... Excuse me, can you okay, just... Yeah, oh, just yeah. Jeff Chilpat, yeah. Jeff. Grant Dean Road. As a butters, we're always concerned about, especially the Jeffrey Lane folks, uh, fires and crimes that go down there, and security uh -huh. of the break that, you know, makes someone just got to touch a match. And, you know, in a dry season, they have a problem. Uh -huh. um, all right. First of all, kind of to address that, Jeff, is um, Friday, I contacted the police department here. And I asked uh, for a rundown of any log entries uh, or instances from go dating back to January of 2019. And here it is, but it's not what the outside of the envelope looks like. Uh, most of these, and anyone who wants to uh, review them can, I. Uh, log entries where police officers have gone down and made note that they had checked the, uh, the area. Um, and also any instances, calls or anything like that. And calls you're in the five and a half years, I think probably average uh, no more than five. Uh, and nothing, nothing, the, most of them have to do with uh, people's concerned about people uh, shell fishing uh, in the area, which it is. It's a popular place uh, to go shell fishing. I don't. I know it. Uh, and I, since um, we got information that Mr. Dean was uh, interested in uh, the area, I have taken a little bit of special note. I've gone down, and I've gone down maybe six or eight times, and there's always some vehicle there uh, that I would uh, equate with shell fishing. Uh, but other than that, there, there's no activity of any uh, uh, real nature, uh, you know, active nature uh, down there. Um, and just so we're aware, I had the good fortune, I guess, today, I went down around 11.30, and as I get down to the water, I see that there's a environmental police officer there. And uh, she was uh, doing some policing with the shellfish uh, activity. Uh, she informed me some, some things uh, that I didn't know. Local, as a local police officer, okay, you know, uh, you know, maybe people are supposed to have hunting licenses and things like that. But I had a discussion with her. There is no requirement to have a license to shellfish for crap. Uh, there is no uh, oh, prohibiting uh, taking female crabs over uh, you know male crabs. The the only uh, restrictions she stated to me were you can't take more than twenty five per person per day. And the other thing is, is they have to be uh, the correct size. Uh, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, now, when she was there, she had a bucket that she had, uh, I believe, uh, taken from a group. She said there was some, there was a few short ones, uh, but um, other than that, the activity is uh, perfectly legal. Um, the other thing we have to realize is that we kind of have flown un under a false flag a little bit in that there is no restriction. Anyone can go in to a conservation land. It's not restricted to town residents and it's, you can't restrict people out of town coming in uh, crabbing or fishing uh, at the site. So we have to understand that that's the real legal uh, foundation here. Um, and in, in here, there's, there's nothing, I mean, at times, I go back probably you know, 30 years, yes, people hanging around, you, you might, you might have had, we might have come, had police calls uh, at, to a group, you know, drinking or something, teenage drinking or something. That's not happening anymore, especially since we've since had the, the gate. gate. Yeah, since we had the gate. Yeah. And, and we, we've yeah, had the gatekeepers. Uh, so that, um, that closing it off like a, uh, after, after sundown or something is that's, that's something that's legal. Right. But uh, other than that, um, we, you know, we're really operating as we should be. The other part of our concern was the trash that we've been caught calling. Uh -huh. about. There's a lot of people dumping sometimes down there. And um, what about the, we used to have a porta party in the past for, because yeah. it gets crowded down there. It uh -huh. gets really crowded. Uh -huh. Um, Especially on the weekends. Yeah, um, that, that's a, a good point. And we did it a couple of uh, years, and I don't, I don't know why we, we stopped a couple of years ago either. It probably, probably was in re relation to like COVID and so forth. And there was people weren't, it wasn't as much activity or, you know, that. But that, that's something that uh, we can look into uh, for next year, uh, having um, a porta potty. Um, uh, trash right now, uh, the gatekeepers keep a pretty good uh, oh, handle on that. I, I saw, the, you know, <laughs> I saw where there was a couple of water bottles uh, in the grass, and now that could have floated in, you know, we don't know. Uh, it, it blows right over to my property. Right? Yeah, it, don't get over it, there, it blows to my property too, so, and, you know, it, when it gets heavy, we get trash. And, uh, yeah. All right. uh, well, um, also in that vein, uh, at the last meeting, we voted to uh, buy a, a commercial trash can. The expense, I was surprised at the time, and now we're, we're learning that that price was about $100 less than it is now. So we're going to have to... Uh, make a decision there. The other, the only, the problem with the trash can, and it, uh, putting a trash can down there is not gonna be a, an issue. Uh, we've already planned for it. Uh, but the, the thing is, we're just gonna have to make sure that uh, there's some way of emptying it. You know? uh, and hopefully when you have a trash can, it's more uh, likely that people are gonna put trash in it than not. And if you don't have a trash can, then that gonna be, is likely to you know carry it out even though you know places even the state forest they want you to carry your trash in or right. carry your trash in you carry it out uh, but so the idea of litter uh yes i, I think we have a, a fairly good handle on it uh from what i've seen uh, and uh we can do that and also a porta potty would probably uh, not be uh, a bad idea. I, I don't know uh, how active it was when it was down there in the past, but that's something that we can definitely, uh, as if you know, if the plan of Mr. Dean goes forward, we can definitely uh, handle that well, we, also. We've seen evidence of people needing to use facilities and having no facility available. Uh -huh. And that includes diapers and everything else um, that, uh -huh. you know, I, I want to back up and say absolutely the gate, the attention <clears throat> on it has made an enormous difference, but that's, that's a public health problem. Um, they have no place to go in there. They're all dead, entire uh -huh. families. Uh -huh. 
So uh, right. I hope we can look into that. I mean, and the trash can. I second that. I mean, like I just said, I mean, we're we're not uh, oh, opposed to dealing with that, but uh, you know, uh, we'll do that. But the, the thing is that one of the things that I want you to understand is the crabbing that's going on is uh, generally legal. And, and she, uh, I spoke with the officer. I I, I had met her before. Uh, I wasn't sure if she was, uh, oh, if this was her area or not. She says that, yes, it is. She uh, goes down there uh, on a relatively regular basis. Uh, she even said she likes to take it as a spot to uh, write reports. So uh, she, she's uh, interested in it. She, we, we did call them, and they've been yeah. wonderful about saying, yeah, we'll support, and I'll support Freetown, because we called Freetown uh -huh. and said, can you do some additional patrols down there? So I know they are, too, uh -huh. which is great. Yes, and uh, uh, but that, that's some of my concerns, and, uh, and, and property lines, too. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes, I don't know the exact thing, but they have an access road there, and then all of a sudden, behind our house, behind your house. Yeah. And and it, and it's kind of unnerving sometimes when there's people you don't know. I mean, I wonder if there's something we can do there with uh, trespassing signs or border boundaries. Or, okay, uh, I don't quite get. Uh, well, because really... of the access road, they have a, a right of way with the title. They can walk on the lead title. Uh, oh yes. And they can walk behind your property. Oh yes. And that's how we get the trash. Uh huh. All right. Well, and uh, I wonder if we can do something about. Uh, that also marking the marking, yeah, marking. Uh, the well, I, I think you're, you're aware that from uh, high tide mark, yes. you know, so they can't walk in the basically, it's walking in the water, right? Uh, um, and so you're, you're saying that you would like us to try to put a boundary. An awareness of a boundary. I mean, maybe uh -huh. a deterrent. Um, so they they're not behind you. Well, they when that's the problem when they leave your trash where they were. Uh -huh. it, the that's the prevailing wind blows up back and we get their trash. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe the trash can will help. I was um, sometimes they take. They used to be. It's all closed up now, but there used to be a little pine road they they use to access and drive out to the to the yard. Mm -hmm. But that's right. Yeah, road. that that's. I, I was looking for that. It took me uh, about you three times. Yeah, it's it, all, it, it, is it's yeah, it, yeah. It's a there's a log there. The, j just so you're aware, also, uh, the you know the uh, cemetery committee uh, improved. Yes. The uh, I've I've talked to the chairman about getting some type of a barrier uh, somewhere along that laneway that goes up to the cemetery. So that no one drives actually into the cemetery because they actually could. You could you know, yeah. You could. yeah. Uh, so that that's a, a concern that I addressed there. Um, well, um, I guess we, we can we can look into probably uh, putting some type of a of posting on either a uh, boundary line saying that you know the end of uh, public property or something like that. Would that work? Yeah, I think it would help. We get them in our, I mean, they come in the yard, but the tide's super high. Uh -huh. They're in the yard before you know it. Uh -huh. um, and they don't yeah. know it. I yeah. don't think yeah. by yeah. design they're looking for the crabs. Yeah, yeah. Well, but you know, there's only so much that we uh, right. can do uh, on that uh, also. My other thought was to, uh, um, nothing, uh, so your plan, the conservation. If you get the donation, are you seeking to hire a professional forester to go through the? Well, okay, that's that's probably going to be like a step two. Okay. Step one, the first thing that in speaking with Mr. Dean on Saturday, I I had a uh, about a uh, half an hour talk with him. It's always very interesting. Yes. Uh, oh, uh, is step one would be to uh, re-establish the beach as it was uh, originally. Uh, and then from there, and well, we're gonna, so we're gonna have uh, 
a study done to see what can be done uh, to recreate or renew the the beach that was there. Uh, you know, the, the original beach, uh, you remember 50 years yes, ago. I, you know, it was a lake guy. So. Okay, yep. all right. <clears throat> uh, all right, yes. Uh, so to bring it back to that, yeah. that status. Uh, then from there, um, the, it, it probably wouldn't, it wouldn't be a bad thing to have, and we, we would probably recommend to Mr. Dean and the family that after that, we go in and have some type of a plan, a forestation plan down there that would probably help out. Um, a lot of, a lot of the dead, dead uh, oh, uh, trees that are lying there now uh, were old oaks that were killed off in the uh, oh, uh, oh, winter moth infection. Uh, some of some remove some of that, probably remove some undergrowth. Uh, personally, I think it would be a, it would be a good thing to set up like a walking trail, also through the property, uh, just foot trail, no, nothing else, uh, no you know other use. Uh, and another thing would be probably to um, re uh, rebuild the road a little bit as it goes down to the to the water because is it's been washed out and. There is a drainage issue there. We could probably uh, rectify that. I, I think it'd be a good thing just so that water, dirt, and so forth isn't going into the wetlands. Uh, uh, another question: I think we still have a beach. Would that be a conflict? Would you be able to stop the fishing and the crabbing in that area because it's a beach area? No, I don't think so. Not from what I've I've heard, especially from the uh, oh. Uh, environmental police officer but the the thing is from my when i've been down there the last two months jeff i then usually i can't even see them can't even find them once in a while there'll be somebody has at one time the um, man had a line set up on the uh old old beach um but the water line there um, one of my questions would be why would you want to restrict it uh, on the beach? Well, if it's, uh, well, if you're making it the beach area. Uh, okay. You know, I, I mean, well, you yeah. Know, well, all right. I mean, oh, I, can, I guess my answer to that, from what I feel right now, uh, is that you know that that would be something that we could deal with as. As it, as, as it comes, you know. And, and the beach would be open to everyone, just like the crabbing is, so you not require stickers for the beach. Right, right. Okay. Uh, you, it's conservation land. You know, we, we can go over the Dartmouth, and I've, I've gone over the dock, Dartmouth and walked my dog mm -hmm. on, uh, you know, uh, some areas over there. It's any, it's just like the state forest, you know, mm -hmm. or any place else. Uh, so that would be, um, you know, as it, as it is now, actually, we're, like I said, we're kind of flying a false flag there uh, by having, uh, telling people that they have to have a sticker or something like that. They don't have to have a sticker. Yeah, so that's been a little confusing because we yeah. did implement that policy uh -huh. to yeah. keep, well, before you guys did everything you did with the game uh -huh. and everything uh -huh. else, because it would be overrun with folks and uh -huh. nobody was local. Uh -huh. um, so local people were saying, never mind, I'm not going down there. So we put the sticker system in place, uh -huh. and that was under Carlton Abbott, and gave the police some enforcement ability. But now mm -hmm. I hear what you're saying, that it's not uh -huh. a property, it's not necessarily a town facility right. like the town beach. Right. Exactly. So you really can't. So right. the sign probably needs to be removed or modified. Yeah, exactly. We, we need to, uh, the, the entrance needs uh, some work. I, the Jersey barriers just don't do anything for me but I, no, they do their, they do their they do their job but they we could probably come up with something a little bit different that would uh still yes, George. I, excuse me but george just identify yourself can we restrict cars from going down there uh okay first of all could you just like george could you just identify oh, yourself george Grumwell, Jeffrey Lane. <clears throat> um well we do other than uh we do other than the times when it's open 
uh, and and we restrict. You know, I, I think the uh, gatekeepers uh, time period for May first to November first, something like that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So six months of the year we're uh, restricting it, and one of the things at the at the entrance that I see is we, we kind of have a little bit of a parking spot. It could be uh, better uh, developed there also. Uh, but in, we might uh, think of a way of restricting, not restricting parking, parking but directing parking uh, down by the water also a little bit better. Because what, what's one of the things that has caused the beach to deteriorate is yeah. is with people at the right there people park somebody else comes in they drive down almost right. into the water and that you know works helps so they also we, do donuts yeah well, there aren't a lot of cars around yes uh, yeah. identify yeah. but, um i would hate to see the towns you know take this to Dean's offer and spend a lot of money and fix this all up and make it look beautiful. And then, I mean, we all know that most of the people at the local, uh, the town residents respect the town property. It's the outer towners that cause most of the problem. Is there a way that we could... If, yeah, I, I, it could be a little bit jaundice there. Well, <laughs> is, there is it possible that this, this could be transferred to the town, like Hathaway Park and no, Long not, Pond, so that would no. be town residents only? No. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's it's under the conservation. Once you put it under, it's a perpetual. Okay. Uh, deal. No. no. Okay. But um, you know, I I'll be truthful with everyone. What I've seen down there, and what you know, forty years of uh, being through it, uh, it's much uh, better now than it has been in the past. Like I say, it is no not that. The, uh, the old way of uh, years ago, young people going out and drinking in uh, spots and so forth, uh, that's not happening at all anymore, really. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, before the game, yeah, well, yeah. the truck loads of trash come yeah. in there. Right uh, uh, but, uh, well, I mean, real truck you can, Leon, you experienced, uh, experienced it. Uh, I you know, and, uh, the, you know, this, in the last five and a half years, they've never had they've never had a uh, 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 a call there of any type of anything like that. The only there were a couple of times I, I see here, uh, oh, and this probably goes back to maybe uh, twenty twenty. Um, they they re they removed a father and son who was uh, uh, picking up at the end of uh, the daylight uh, after crabbing. That's about the only thing after hours. Uh, and like I said, the, the uh, gate is uh, closed at sundown, uh -huh. opened uh, early in the morning. These uh, the two people who work the, uh, as gatekeepers uh, have pleased it. And it, it, is, it is, I the other day I got out and I walked around. It's, okay, there's probably uh, a bag of trash can, a trash bag full of trash that you could pick up. That's, and that's going into the uh, grass and uh, into the woods, that type of stuff also. Uh, we'll try to uh, see this cleaned up uh, thoroughly at some time uh, in the near future. But, and then we, then, because also if, you, if, you, if there's no trash there, it's gonna be less likely that somebody's gonna throw trash. If there's trash there, somebody's gonna throw trash. And like I said, we're going to try to get a, uh, a real trash can down there, and then we'll uh, see that it gets, we'll work with uh, the trash uh, Borges Brothers to see if we can't uh, work out a system where every week or every two weeks, whatever it needs to be done, it can be emptied. But anyone else have any comment? Or uh, Mr. Dean's uh, Richard Hendrick. Yes. Uh, Mr. Dean is 96. He's in California and he yes. called more than you. He wanted more firepower on this coast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, from my understanding, from, right, talk, talking with him is that he would like you guys to vote and say, yes, we want to proceed with this. Uh -huh. to get an engineer to come in to right. see if it's feasible. Right. 
Exactly. Uh, if it's not feasible, then right. you know he's, he wants to try something different. But right. He kind of like to know what's you know fairly soon. Yeah, I, I told him on Rich. I told him on Saturday what we you know there was we we since we met with him we've only had one meeting, uh, and it, you know he was going to get back to us, and so we're we're going down that trail now. Uh, so yes, we will. Because uh, I asked if this could go on the agenda. Uh -huh. uh, for tonight, so you could vote on it, yes or no, that you want to proceed with it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I also, we as a commission can vote tonight. Uh, the thing is, I talked to the town uh, accountant about uh, setting up the fund, and he was of the uh, understanding that we uh, might have to, we might have to uh, go before the board of selectmen to have them vote to accept the donation so that will be uh, but the first thing is to get the information so we know how much he has to donate to well the other thing this. is can you work in wetlands uh yes you can you there's you know there's there's room uh just as like trimmy box and so forth it would be the same thing you we're gonna have to go by some rules but uh probably in rehabilit rehabilitating is different than build and that's but that's kind of what pi the there's engineer. pictures of you know when his grandfather built it back in the uh, 30s too, so. yes that was something i was gonna it was documented yeah. that there was a beach there rich but. uh if you can direct me to, to uh, some of those pictures yeah uh, that'd be very helpful uh too so uh, i'll see if anyone you want to yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah that's right but this Monday morning, I did other things for it. Uh, but yeah, well, I like to work with him. It's, a, it's an interesting proposal that he has. And yes. uh, I think we'll actually will work out well for the town. And he's but, not patient. I don't know if you realize uh, that. Well, he, he claimed that, he, he, that his mother wasn't patient. But I, I worked for his mother for about six years, and I found it to be patient. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh okay. well, maybe all the all the all the beholder right it's a it's a an incredible resource uh -huh. that we have in that property and i've been there long enough to see it transition uh, to, to really mater and then to come back because mm -hmm. there have been interventions on the part of the commission and the the, the neighbors i mean we've mm -hmm. also done our part with trash mm -hmm. and, and everything else and certainly if there's trespassing we do call it in um, and I think a, the common goal is to maintain this duel uh -huh. um, so that it's there for everybody to enjoy. And I don't just mean the craft, I mean everybody mm -hmm. to enjoy. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's unbelievable. Uh, yeah, a lot of people like to take a sunset. And... Yeah, right. it's incredible. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, tonight, to be able to go down there and uh, look for meteors. Yeah. 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 Did you do that last night? <laughs> well, well over the over the years, I've seen my share of meteors. Uh, oh my god! I almost went nuts. <laughs> yeah, they like the chicken down there. <laughs> well, yeah. there's chicken. There's chicken. People yeah. eat the chicken. You have to watch the dogs. <laughs> you do. The dogs will swallow it. Um, well, thank you. We we are grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but on that note, I would like to have the board vote to work to receive the, the uh, donation. So I guess someone who will in way of a form of a motion that we uh, approve of the investigation commission <clears throat> to get a study done of Port of Pasture uh, uh, or renewing the beach. Okay. I'll make that motion. Okay. I'll Ask you a question. Yes. Susan Dean Sargent, yes. 32 North Main Street. So I'm hearing two different things. We're hearing the beach. And my understanding was that there was going to be seed money to do an evaluation of quarter pasture, i.e., the trees and everything else. Okay. So right. Well, probably gotta be like two steps. Yeah. Uh when I when I spoke to Bob on Saturday, uh, his my inclination, but my understanding from it is to get the the beach uh, project, you know, uh, formulated, 
And but he still, yes, there's still to be more work to be done. But he, his interest to me, what he conveyed to me on Saturday was his interest was basically first, let's get the beach back the way Grant Dean had put it. Uh, and then, uh, but it's the same. It, to, to work, to put trail, maybe trails, probably it wouldn't be bad to move some of the trees, not uh, uh, like a, a, a sloth, but along the roadway, there's a couple of spots where, you know, <laughs> if you hit it wrong, you could whack yourself against a tree. Uh, that might maybe like remove like maybe a half a dozen trees. Well, there's so uh, much dead growth. In yeah, right. Yeah, and and, and uh, clean up the dead growth as uh, best as it can be. Uh, a lot of it is now compared to what it, you know it fell 20 years ago, and a lot of it is rotted now. Like, Seemed a lot cleaner when I went down there recently than uh, back maybe 15 years ago when I would regularly go in there. Uh, but that that would be uh, part of the, the project <clears throat> also. Uh, so Hathaway Park has a sign that says there's no lifeguard on duty. Right. But you don't have that at quarter pasture. And <clears throat> one of the things that I did say to Mr. Dean mm -hmm. was that I don't know how realistic it is to think that Porter Pasture Beach is going to become a, become a swimming area mm -hmm. under the circumstances. Do people go in the water to swim? Maybe they do, but um, there's a sign that says yeah. the water is not, not tested. Tested, not tested right? right. Uh, but they used to test it. So the, the board, we did not put that up. I believe the Board of Health yeah. or maybe at some time, not this, board, knows not, not this board, <laughs> but you know, maybe several years ago. Um, but that's just to tell people that the water is tested, uh, which it is. Um, the I I I am not going to speak uh, for any anyone but the conservation commission in my own idea of the conservation commission. Not that I speak for the conservation commission every time I open my mouth, uh, but. Um, my inclination would be that the town recreational uh, position is to put more interest into the beach at Long Pond, uh, where they do have a lifeguard, they do have a beach. And we, I, I'm on the master plan committee. And one of the, uh, in the master plan uh, committee through CERPED, uh, the planning, uh, the regional planning uh, commission, uh, sent out questionnaires and so forth. And the the questionnaire, the feedback they got back about recreation. One of the things was that they wanted to develop Long Pond Beach uh, into more of a uh, of a facility, more like uh, what's in Lakeville. Lakeville has a on Clear Pond. I don't know if you're familiar with that, uh, Susan, but they have, they for years have had a, a relatively a, uh, elaborate uh, oh, recreational area over there. That's probably what we would do. I, I don't see us, I don't see the town, but uh, oh, developing the beach to be a, a, a swimming spot other than what, hey, people, people can jump in the river anywhere they want to. You know, uh, and uh, you know that's that's it's not really. Uh, I I don't think in in our mind to I don't think it would be good to try to develop it into a big swimming area. But to be, bring the beach back, so hey, if somebody wants to go there, they can. Uh, you know, it's part of the facility. All right. Anyone else have any questions or comments? So when did you say the the town meeting was? With this, did you say it was with selectmen? Well, uh, I'll I got that information today, and uh, I will talk to the town administration, probably the town administrator actually, and uh, uh, see if we, if we do need to have the board of selectmen. It's it's basically in my my mind it's a formality, but 
the, the board of selectmen are the only people who can enter into a contract. And even though this might not be uh, a written contract, it's, it's a contract. So, and it, the other thing is, it's good. Every the more the more communications, the more people have the uh, information readily available, the, the better everyone's going to be. So that would be basically our next step. I'll I'll check with the town administrator, and um, then we'll try to uh, oh, contact a. Uh, engineering firm for lack of a better term uh to do a survey and tell us what we can do and then we'll go from there and then bob will know all right well he'll get a copy all right okay we'll be on the list all right okay all yeah, right yes. yes yeah well so did you it will be a, it will become a public record at some point. well no oh. not yet uh but why don't you read, would, Nicole, would you mind reading the motion? Have you put a motion in? No. Okay. Uh, then I'll say, uh, make a motion, well, entertain a motion to uh, work to uh, develop a plan for Port Pasture re, uh, refurbishing the beach area. That sounds. Can we say somewhat, refurbish? So. What do we want? Do, does this include getting the, the engineer yes. to come down and yeah. look? Okay, can we not just limit it to beach, say get an engineer to um, come in and look at not only refurbishing the beach and or the, the surrounding property? Yeah. Just, right. just so that it's uh, an right. and or to cover us. We, we, we've been talking about one thing in now, uh, and I think one of the things that uh, Mr. Davis, I mean, pardon, Mr. Dean, would like is um, to have actually a forester. Now, mm -hmm. I'm aware of uh, a forester that works um, with the uh, bio, uh, the bio reserve. Bio reserve. Uh, his, uh, his name's. Uh, uh, boss, boss A, uh, and he, I believe, would be someone to have at least as a reference to maybe getting another forester. But he is a forester, and I know he does that. So that was so that would be like Plan B, I, I would say, to do uh, for for us. But um, do we want to say we uh, will? Uh, vote to accept any donation that Mr. Uh, Dean is willing to uh, provide to uh, restore Porter Pasture. Yes, yeah, yeah. I like that. One. Okay, all right. Did so you get that? Did I? Did yes. If the money is to evaluate whether it could be done. Right. Yes. And yeah. Right. Not to pay for it to get done. No, no, right. See, it can be done. there. Yes. So you'd want to evaluate Seven. the whole property, wouldn't you? Because you're going to have to get access to the beach to work on it. Right. right. Yeah. So you need yeah. to put a road in and wetland delineation and all that yeah. stuff. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, there, right. there's basically the, the road, there is a road bridge uh, that I, I think would be would be fine. We could get a 10 wheel down. No, but we don't have to do it with a 10 wheel. So if you're going to restore the yeah. beach, you're going yeah. to have to bring equipment. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, All right, here, here's a motion. <laughs> I will motion to accept Mr. Dean's donation for a study on restoring Porta Pasture. Sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah. Nice, and that simple. Nice, and simple. nice and simple. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. Okay, motion is made and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 All right. All right. Taking care of that. You're welcome. Um, item number 10 discuss and vote to recommend Nicole DeMaranville as uh, principal clerk for land use departments. Um, <clears throat> the planning board has already done this. Uh, it was a recommendation that Nicole does a very good job and she's working. Now with three agencies, and that uh, other 
town employees who do such things city principal clerk. Okay. Um, just put it out there, the commission doesn't have a principal clerk as part of the commission, so it would have to go, um, it would have to be created, it would have to go well, to the... Actually, uh, we're, we're just... So going we're on. just going to recommend to the... Right, well... The, the VOS, right, and, yeah, and yeah. then they can do everything we, else. We, okay. we are supporting so it, it's kind of it, it's just uh it's putting the coals position as it presently because the, the it's funded it funded by the planning board actually mm -hmm. position uh and they they have already recommended this so we're just kind of piggybacking what we're we're seconding there okay so we're not we're not saying that Nicole will be a principal clerk, only recommending to that, the select board right. that, that, she, that we would like it. Yes, okay. we, we uh, concur with the planning board that she should be moved up to principal clerk. I will make that motion and recommend to the select board. I'll second that. Motion is made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, um, <clears throat> number 11, minutes of the July 8th uh, meeting. Uh, it was in the packet. Yep, I'm good with that. All set. All right, I will make a motion to accept as written. Uh, I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, any other business properly to come before the uh, Conservation Commission? Did you say you had something, Nicole? Yeah, so a couple of things. This is the one for the Zero Richmond. It's oh. Zero Forge slash Richmond. Uh -huh. um, that property, Mike said he can help us write the article, but it has to be submitted to the article to, um, I guess we're, we're just voting today to acknowledge that the deadline to submit the article is after this meeting. I mean, before the next meeting. So our next meeting's not till September 9th, but the deadline is September 5th to be able to submit the article, um, to be able to acquire that land, I guess. All right, um, but they haven't, well, it is town property, but yeah, does it was the a treasurer tax. have to petition? Is that what they kind of, because it would be in the, it's in the, the uh, realm of the uh, treasurer because it's tax credit. Is it tax? All right, I wasn't sure. It was a tax possession and it's yeah. low and wet is what Mike right, let yeah. me know. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so this is nothing to do with the T. No. No, no this okay. isn't to do okay. with the 15 Richmond Road that the MBTA did. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's, or it's confusing it, also because both of these Yeah, this is like there. a third <laughs> Richmond Road property because this one's even different than the one we spoke about earlier to put on hold. So it's it's so um, there's one whatever happened with the one that the T took, then the T gave us, that's, and then the that's T what said, that's oh, wait, what that agreement that? is, that easement that's agreement. That. Yes, that's the, that. They have to write that. Oh right, yeah. yes. Okay. Uh, so right. this is a uh, law. Uh, originally set out as a buildable lot years and years ago. Well, yeah. I actually printed this. So oh, it's this yes. lot here. Right. It's um, at the corner of Walnut. So Walnut's here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, okay. I or you already looked at it. Okay. Uh, okay. The, the thing that kind of uh, I have a little, I guess I could say, issue with is it's only it's out in the middle of like it's it's a piece of a little piece of property that is not going to ever be uh developed in any way it's all wet or uh i don't know now maybe they have but i would i would say that hey why don't you go to the abutters and see if they want it like we did over on the other side of, they did on the other side of town right you know, before we go, because I mean, if it was at first, I thought it was uh, 
there's a little piece of property that the town owns uh, across from the T property. And I, I thought that they, the town, that I think the town owns, still owns, I'm not sure. But anyways, I just have a little issue with it being that this little speck in the middle of a bunch of houses and an industrial building. And if I'm just wondering if they have ever uh, asked uh, the two abutters, either on Richmond Road or at Forge Road, if they were interested in it. But again, why would they bother to take it when they're looking to pay taxes on it? Right, yeah. You own it. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't, you know, it might, there, there might be a, enough. I don't, I don't believe there's, uh, well, it's, it's not buildable. I don't know if there's enough that somebody, the other two lots are also small. Uh, they're less than uh, an acre. So if somebody might say, well, geez, if I could get that uh, dry land, it would help me if I ever had a septic system problem or something like that. But that's, that's only my, that's my only concern, so to speak. In the email from Mike, he said that it was believed to not have much or any auction value. Right. And that Deb was in agreement that no other department, if no other department wanted it, then ComCom should just take it and acquire the lane. And I guess the highway department already mows it for safety at that intersection. Yeah. Yes. But it is low in wet, is what, what I was told. Yeah. Um, well, um, do we want to? I mean, it's got to go somewhere. Yeah, I mean, well, right. well the town could just sit on it. The town owns it now. It's, it's, yeah, uh, but, but I, mean, uh, it's, I know it's not like we can do anything yeah. with it, but it needs a home besides just general uh -huh. town. Yeah. You know? I mean, I'm not opposed to it if there's nothing else and they want to, okay, uh, it's a wetland spot and it goes from there. But I'm just wondering if uh, they have actually ever contacted either the abutters to see if they would be interested. They wouldn't be able to do anything with it. Well, yeah, but, well, except but, pay taxes. Well, like you said. but well, they, they can already they, use it. They can already uh, use it all they want. Well, but uh, here's. My only thing is like, okay, but like I said, both of the uh, lots are less than an acre, uh, this one and this one. Mm -hmm. And say if you have uh, oh, 75, say you had a, a thousand square feet of dry land on this, this spot, it might, it might help it out when it comes to making a septic system is that, <clears> you know, you have that extra excess land that we're always dealing with you know it's it's just i i don't know i, I just say have they ever approached these other yeah. two people you know and i kind of doubt it. maybe the person maybe one of the about will say well you know i'll take it i mean the value of the land even taxes what might be you know five hundred dollars it's not going to be not uh, of much value anyways, um, but I guess my, but I'm, that's, like I said, that's my opinion, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get feathers up over it at all. <laughs> uh, what can come take it? So you want to say that we make the motion that we uh, state that we would go with the article? The, yeah, we just need to acknowledge the deadline of the article so that at our next meeting after the deadline, we can vote okay. saying right. that we I submitted the... Uh, so I don't know if we need an official... The article beforehand. Yeah, because okay. the deadline is the fifth, and our next right. meeting is not till the ninth. So we will retroactive. Yes. That vote. Yes. 
Yeah, That's if fine. you guys want to move forward with it, we can submit the article. Mike said he'll help me uh, yeah. write it all up and everything, and then we can submit the article, and then yeah. at our next meeting, we'll retro that. Yep, yep. All right. So I'll entertain a motion. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Motion's made and seconded. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, um, anything else? Didn't you say, did you have something that you thought uh, be of interest the other day? Okay. I have one uh, more thing. Okay, all right, all right, yes. <laughs> the no hunting signs at Betsy Taylor. Uh -huh. um, she called again and wants to know when they'll be put up. Um, I guess Boeing hunting season is next month. Uh, no, it's October. Oh, okay. Yeah. So she, she's just wondering when they'll be put up because we had already voted to put them up. They'll be put up before hunting season. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. All right. With that uh, in mind, uh, I'll accept the motion to adjourn. I will make that motion. Motion is made and seconded. All in favor? Uh, Aye. All right. Do we need to sign anything for that lease for the tea? I believe so.